One million subscribers, Angel. There's a million people. There's a million people that click that subscribers button to watch our video. Guys, I'm I'm forever grateful. I am so thankful. Thank you so much One for million. subscribing. I don't know what else to say, man. This is a <laughs> Don't cry, girl. Don't cry, bro. I'm a cry. I'm not gonna cry on the video because this video is a hundred percent dedicated to all of you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Now roll the clip. I think he's crying. <laughs> <laughs>
Using a special fabric that comes with the kit, it allows me to use my regular vacuum sealer. To ensure my seal is tight, I like to seal it three times. Once I was done, you can see that the membrane is in full contact with the meat. And that is what you're looking for. When putting on your regular refrigerator, it is important that you have air flow throughout the whole thing. So for that, I like to use a cooling rack underneath it. Now there's nothing else to do but let it dry age on my regular refrigerator for a total of 35 days. Once the 35 days were up, I removed it from my refrigerator and opened it up and once I did, this is what it looks like. I've done a lot of dry aging and nothing looks like this. The fat melts by the touch of my hand. Even after dry age, this still happens. Also the color is quite unique, I've never seen anything like it. But now it's time to open it up. It seems like that red color is completely gone. Normally when I cut a dry age, that red is so nice. But here, there's almost nothing, just a little bit towards the left. Like every dry age steak, you must remove the pellicles. That's the outer layer skin formed with the dry aging process. Since every piece of meat I'm trimming out costs a big chunk of money, I am being extremely careful. Then like the previous steak, I've also decided to do a super trim so I can save the fat. Once all of them were trimmed, I also defrosted the fresh one and put them right next to each other and this is what they look like. The dry aged on the right and the other one on the left. But now the most exciting part for me is to find out what they'll taste like. To make sure we're tasting the steak and nothing else, I decided to season them with salt and freshly ground black pepper. But now that you've seen the whole process, I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill the most expensive steak in the world. So let's do it! All right, everybody, we have our beautiful steaks right here. What do you think, Angel? They're beautiful. I know, I agree with you. They look fantastic. When we're searing, they look awesome, but I know what they're thinking because they're thinking this steak right here is totally overcooked because there's no. zero, zero redness on it on this part right here. Well, on this part, but over here is red. Over here is red. I don't red. know why, it's just... How it is, I guess. I know why. I think I know why and I have a theory why. Because of the dry aging? Because of the dry aging. Angel knows what this experiment is. He was here yeah. all along with me. He couldn't miss it. This is kind of like a Super Bowl of all steaks, <laughs> isn't it, Angel? <laughs> yeah, It is the much. Super Bowl. So when you cut up the dry age, everybody, it's not as red. It was taken out at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's definitely not, not overcooked. Both yeah. of them are the exact same temperature. But I think it's enough talking and we have to try them on huh, Angel. Which one you want to go for at first? Well, let's go for this one here first, no? Let's go for this one here so that we can really, you know, try to remember. It's been a long time since we don't eat no Wagyu. You agree? Look at that. Yeah, That's like long. butter. It's just butter, everybody. A5. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It is so amazing. It is an experience. It is hard to describe. Describe, Angel. Say five, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ultimate steak, bro. It is the ultimate steak. Now, I know you can't wait anymore. Let's go for it, Angel. We gotta compare them, bro. Let's see what, what it tastes for. like. Well, I almost got two. 
All right, buddy. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I just made a five better. <laughs> wow. Very beefy. Everything that this steak has times two is on this steak right here. There is a very mild umami flavor to it from the dry age. It is not overpowering. It is incredible. I see you going for the second one to test it again to see the difference. Go yeah. for it, Angel. Now, I'm, I took the part that had a little bit of the red on it. I'm going to take the other part right here, which we saw that lost all the red color. <laughs> You guys see us going back and forth, back and forth, because we really want to give you guys a good reveal. It's annoying, like, that this is so much better than that one. Because <laughs> then we're going to treat this one like it's nothing. I know, right? <laughs> and this is not nothing. This is, like, the best. This is the best steak in the world. This just elevated the best steak in the world a little bit more, everybody. The Japanese Wagyu A5 is an experience in, on itself. You know, Angel, we are very lucky because not a lot of people will ever be able to experience something like this. They don't sell this kind of thing. I don't even know how much this would cost. If this is the most expensive meat in the world, imagine this one. Well, I, I don't take it for granted. I will eat it. <laughs> I will eat it. I don't have any idea how much this would even cost everybody. This is how, you know, the next level it is. Is it the best steak I ever ate in my life? Yes, it is. Will I ever do it again? Yes, I'll probably do it again. <laughs> I thought you were going somewhere else with that. No. I thought you were going to be like, no. I mean, I'll do it again. I just have to, you know, sell my house and sell my car and everything. <laughs> But it is incredible. It is an experience on itself. Just like expected, a dry aged steak is better than a regular steak. And when you take the best steak in the world and you dry age it, it just becomes better. <laughs> and you could really see the marbling still and like the spice oh, yeah. of marbling. You could see what's Very happening clearly. right there. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I know you guys wanted to see it and here it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. But the only thing that can make this better, you know what? Nothing. You're probably right. <laughs> but instead of having one Japanese Wagyu A5 dry age, I have two. And I got to run some experiments with it. See you on the next one, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Before Angel eats all oh, of Hey, it. where are you going with this? <laughs> the other family members need to try. No. It would not be fair. <laughs> Guys, I have to go. I see you on the next one.